in today's tutorial, we're learning how to make these cool paper cutout text effects in PowerPoint all the way from scratch. And they can really take your presentation to the next level and it's easy to apply them in any type of presentation. Now, if you want to save a lot of time while making presentations, I also make templates which you can download via the link in the description below and they will save you a lot of effort and time while making slides for your company or project. We're going to look at different levels of the presentation, starting with just the basic ones and then moving on to more complex compositions. Let's start with the first one, which is just creating the basic composition. And for this tutorial, let's start from a blank slide and we're going to the insert tab at the top and click on icons. If you're working on a Windows computer, this will show up as stock images. We go to the image tab on the right. And the first thing we want to do is we want to look for paper texture. And this gives us quite a lot of options for paper texture. So you can choose, you can select any of the textures that you like and add it to your slide. Then we can increase it to the full size of the screen. And let's crop it so that it looks nice and fits the entire slide. If you don't like this particular style of paper, there's also alternatives that you could use from Unsplash. So let's jump into Unsplash. And also here you can find any paper texture that you want. So if you type in paper texture, this gives you a lot of options that you could use, maybe in different colors if you prefer that. So let's see what we can find. Maybe this cardboard here looks quite nice. Let's download that one and see what we can do with it. Now we jump back into PowerPoint and let's create a new blank slide and work on the darker version as well. Paste in the image. And now we're going to add a text box on the slide. So go to text box, drag a large one on the screen, and let's type in the word paper. For the font, we're going to use Avenir Next. We're going to use the sub font heavy, make it white and increase the size to, let's try 100. It can even be quite a bit larger, 175, 173 will do and center it in the middle of your slide. Now we want to select the text box, right click format shape. This opens the format pane at the right side. And then we have the shape options here and text options. So we want to move to text options and then look at the different options that we have available here. And we want to go for the shadows. So the second tab here at the top, shadows, and we want to choose an inner shadow. And this kind of gives that illusion of that cutout that we're creating in the paper. Now we're going to play around with these settings. So if we reduce the transparency, you see it becomes a lot harsher. The shadow becomes stronger. And we can also play around with the blur if we want more or less blur. Same with the distance, if you want to move it. But I'm going to just keep the distance quite low. Transparency, I'm going to reduce it just a bit. And the blur, maybe one or two ticks extra. And then reduce the transparency more. It's always playing around a bit with the font or the graphic that you've chosen and until you find a result that you really like. For me, it is transparency eight, blur eight and distance two. This gives quite a clean cutout. If you want, you can always modify it afterwards. If you want a more sharp version, you can choose to do that and reduce the blur if you want. If you reduce it a bit more, this becomes a bit cleaner and more realistic if you ask me. Now, an extra thing that we can do, because now we have just regular white as the background, we can, for example, choose that image from the first page, which is a light paper texture. Go back to the second slide, we copy it, go to the text again, and now we're going to the text options, text fill, and we're going to give this text a picture or texture fill, and then use whatever is on our clipboard. And this way you see that the texture is applied to the text itself. And this gives a very realistic effect because we're using two kinds of paper on that same graphic. Of course, this remains editable, so if you want to type in anything else, that works perfectly fine. So it's a very flexible way of changing the content on your slide and not working with any definitive cuts. And of course, you can always customize them. So in the next step, we're going to look at the customization of this paper text effect. If we want to use any other type of texture, that also works. So let's duplicate the slide for now and use, for example, a darker tint, so like a different color of paper. If we send that to the back and then we remove this cardboard part, you can see that the same effect applies to the paper. So it's a very nice way to change any of the graphics that you've made. You can also change the font if you don't like it. So any of the fonts will apply. You can go for maybe more handwritten fonts or any of the bold fonts that you like. So I'm going to try something with chunk five. I think that will look nice. It's a bit of more of a playful font that you could use in this presentation. And here you can also change the 
settings. So if you go to the shadows again, some of the fonts require just a bit of a different setting. I'm going to increase the transparency so it's less harsh and reduce the blur by one or two points. And that way you get a clean cutout also for this font. Now, if you have a specific color of paper in mind and you can't find it online, there's another thing you can do. So let's duplicate the slide and select the background image, right click format picture. And we go to the last step here, which is the picture tab. And here we have quite a few sub tabs that we can use. So you can play around with the picture corrections if you want to increase the brightness to make it lighter or darker. You can also play around with the contrast if you want to change the color tone. But what we are looking for is the picture color here and especially the presets. Because if you click on the presets, you get quite a few standard presets that you could use. So for example, this blue one looks quite nice. And with one simple click, you instantly change the color of the entire presentation or at least of that picture. And also here we can play around with the text options, format shape. Let's say we don't want the texture fill anymore. We can also use a solid fill and maybe go for something more yellow or something contrasty. You can also choose any custom color that you want. If you want more of a beige feeling, make it a bit lighter. That is all possible. So depending on the style that you want, you can really customize it to your needs. I'm going to stick with this yellow font. I think the contrast looks quite good. And let's move on to the next part, which is more advanced compositions of this effect. Now for that, I'm going to duplicate this blue slide. And let's see if we can create, copy one of the text elements. I'm going for the lighter one. And let's type in text. Maybe change the font to something a bit more neutral. Avenir next. But we're going to use the heavy font. Very bold. Increase it in size. Expand the text box. And then we're going to make combinations. So I'm going to just adjust the shadow because it's quite harsh here. Make that shadow a bit more transparent. And maybe the blur just a few ticks up. There we go. I think this looks more realistic. And then we want to use that yellow font as well. So let's copy that, reduce the size and let's change it to, let's try the font lobster. I think that will look quite nice. And then let's use lower caps and also here, make sure that the shadow looks the same as the other one. So one is not a lot harder than the other, but it both looks quite similar because we have the same lighting effect. And also here we can add some extra elements. So let's go to insert design and go to icons and look for a cloud icon. This one looks quite good. Let's add it to the slide, close these tabs. And now we can convert this to shape. So if we want to play around with these settings, if you just click on the color, you can change the color. But if you want to modify it a bit more, you have to convert it to a shape. And now we can right click format shape and start to add some shadows also to this one. So an inner shadow. That will look quite cool. And also for this, I'm going to copy the same texture and add that to the slide. Play around with the shadows so you get a very similar effect. And now you can position it on the slide as you like. If you hold the control key, you can create duplicates. That is always a useful shortcut to know. And then you place it wherever you like and wherever it seems to be good. Maybe copy a few more to the top. And if you want a different fill, for example, the same yellow fill, you could also do that. So depending on the effect that you want to create, you can really customize your slide like this. And if you want to know how to transition to one of the other slides, you can always just add a new slide behind it. And for example, from this slide, from the opening slide to the next slide, you can easily apply a push transition, which will look quite good and then just add some text. So let's see what that looks like. If you open up, if you open up the presentation, you have the opening slide and then you click and you push to the next slide. And here you can start with your text or your regular content. So it's a pretty easy transition that you can apply to most of the slides. Now let's see what we have created so far. And for the first part, we have quite a clear cardboard cutout in the text, which looks pretty professional, I would say. You can easily change the colors to something else, like for example, red, or change the background color of the texture of the text. That is also possible. You can change the colors of that image itself. So red paper, you can easily turn it to blue and also change the background color of the text or the fill color. And you can even go a little bit further if you want to make compositions, use different text effects, text styles, but also icons or any other elements that you like in the same style. 
And if you're curious how to make this specific graphic, I've made a full step-by-step -step tutorial which is available on my channel for free. If you want to learn how to do that, please watch the video on the screen right now.